After finding out that her ancestors belonged to the same community as Anne Frank, she began writing her book entitled, Lest We Forget. Because of that book, I got to know some very interesting people, some other Holocaust scholars who study and write about it, and we decided that we would all meet in person, because we had met online in social media. We decided that we would all go in person for the 70th anniversary of the liberation of the camp, and that's where we met for the first time. One of the Holocaust scholars she met was Reiner Hurst. Hearst's grandfather, Rudolf Hearst, was the commandant of the Auschwitz death camp for most of its existence. Hearst now uses his name to cultivate peace and fight against neo-Nazi groups and anti-Semitism. It was an amazing experience. He was a far different man than I ever expected because seeing him on the video of Hitler's children, he seemed very solemn, very sad and meeting him in person, he was extremely funny, very generous, uh, very caring about the Holocaust survivors. Visiting Auschwitz was Callahan's way of honoring her family and all of those who lost their lives. She says she was impacted greatly by everything around her. I would say more than anything, it was the feelings that came over me while I was there, especially when the camp was closed and we were there at night. It was very solemn and sad, and I could almost feel the spirit there of the people who died and especially the smells and I didn't expect that not 70 years later I didn't think that each building would smell like death and it did and that, that will stick with me forever. Not only did the trip impact her life it altered the students perspective as well. I was just so interested that she was going to get like hands-on and the stories that she heard and all the feelings that she felt when she went like just completely changed my mind and just knowing all the horrible things and all the things that people have been through and just all the documentaries that we've watched and everything that we've learned because we learned a lot of things about the Holocaust in this class. It's really just changed my mind and I hope that nothing that bad ever happens ever again.